Okay, YouTubers, it's time to go over the calibration of the ESC, the different modes. We're going to start from the very beginning. In your book that comes with your X Max, it has all the settings on your ESC. Your, uh, over here. Uh, first up is calibrating the spit, the ESC for your trigger if you're using 50 50 or 70 30. Uh, sport race or training mode, uh, turning on your uh, low voltage cutoff, and that's what we're going to go over. Basically, when you first get it, if you turn it on, uh, you have to have lipos with this truck. Nickel metal hydride can't cut it. They do not have enough discharge capacity for this truck. This truck the ESC needs a 80 CFM, uh, not shit, 80 amps, I'm thinking gasoline, excuse me, uh, 80 amps constant, 300 amp bursts. The tires, uh, I mean the batteries I'm using, 225 non-stop amps, 375 bursts. They're 30C 7500 milliamp hour Venoms, $200 for two of them. So let's get into actually doing it. If you turn it on and that green light is red, you are going to have to hold the button. When you go to turn it on, hold the button down until it turns green. And you will hear a little musical tone coming from the motor. The way it does that is the ESC sends a certain frequency to the motor which causes the armature to vibrate at just the right frequency that it sounds musically okay second after you get that set up are you going to be racing are you going to be bashing how do you want your transmitter do you want 50 percent here 50 percent here or would you want no break so if you have no brake, I mean, oh shit, no reverse. If you have no reverse, which you, is racing mode, I'll go over those in a sec, uh, you're, you're going to want 70-30 because you have a lot more throttle movement. You can see that there's a lot more uh, of a throw there. So right now mine's in 50-50. I'll show you. Please. Please, for the love of God. If the truck is on, don't touch this switch. One of two things is going to happen. You hit this switch, you're inside, it's going to run into something, it's going to break it. I promise you that because it happened to me. It's happened to several other people. There's a video on uh, one of the Facebook sites where a dude actually put his X-Max through a damn wall. Okay. Second thing. If you're outside and you do it, it, what it does is it goes to 20% reverse. It's going to take off. People say this truck is slow. No, the hell it's not. You aren't going to catch it. And more than likely, unless you're in a big ass field or away from everything, you're going to run into somebody else's property, hit it, damage it. You're going to be paying for it. You're going to have to go knock on their door, sir. I hit your house, I hit your car, I hit something in your yard, I broke it. Because, face it, this truck is 21.3 or 21.6 pounds without batteries. With two 7,500 milliamp hour batteries, it weighs about 25, 26 pounds. It is a heavy bastard. <laughs> it is a monster. And when you gear it up like I have, I, ha I have geared mine to an 18 tooth pinion and a 50 tooth spur. It does about 50 miles an hour. I have a GPS for a exact, but I do know with the 1846 you can get to 63 miles per hour. There's a dude on YouTube that did that exact one and he tried to run it on 8S because he has the Castle XLX. And he ran into some pipes coming out of the ground and totally shattered every part in his rear end. Every A-arm, both shock shafts, both dog bones, and these are some thick-ass dog bones. They're 
damn near quarter of an inch thick, I'd say. Uh, about at least a centimeter. So, well, no, not a centimeter. About half a centimeter. Yeah. Okay. So, for calibrating your trigger, you're going to want to set it down to 70-30. I'm going to have to go through both of these because I prefer 50-50. What you're going to do... Don't hit it and let go because if you hit it and let if you hit the on button and let go, it's gonna go in reverse. Turn it on, hold it down, it's gonna light up red. That is not what I wanted. You're gonna press it down, it's gonna blink. Red once. There you go. Give it full throttle. It's going to blink red twice. Let go. Give it a full reverse. It's going to blink green. Let go. And now it's calibrated to 70-30. Forward. Backwards. Like I said, for this, you're going to mainly want this for racing because I will say you really don't have much in the way of reverse. That's why I don't like it. So, I'm going to set it back to 50-50. Always shut it off before you hit the switch. Because if I go back to 50-50, it's going to go 20% throttle straight so again press the button hold it down till it turns red let go it's gonna blink red once hold your throttle down it's gonna blink red twice let go full brake starts blinking green let go full green and back into 50 50 mode now the last. This thing doesn't have many settings. The, the cat, there's. I'm going to the Castle XLX eventually before summer gets here. Two reasons. Uh, you have eight different settings. I'm not going to go over them. If you would like to know them, they're all online. Uh, I really don't have the time to go all over all of them. Few of them just uh, timing. You can change your timing, advanced or retarded. Uh, Brake percentage, reverse percentage, uh, quite a few things. Uh, drag brake. Uh, and also, it is meant for a 35-pound vehicle and a much bigger motor, so it will stay cooler. It's also built for up to 8S, so it's going to stay cooler. Because with this, you only run, want to run 6S. Yes, people have put 8S through this motor, but you're going to overheat it. I've gone over a video of what happens when if you overheat your motor. I still got to load that up. But basically, if the magnets get too hot, they start losing your magnetism. The KV start going up, and your motor goes to shit. So, the different ones is, I'm going to tell you before I show you. First, it's gonna you're gonna hold it down. It's gonna blink once. Once is sport mode. Twice is race mode. Race mode gives you no reverse, and I'll show you that. Uh, the third blink, where it blinks three times, is training mode, where you only have 50% power. It cuts the power completely in half. Say you want to give it to your nephew, your son, your niece, your daughter, someone who's never uh, had a remote control car and wants to play with this thing because, oh cool, it's so damn big compared to your 10th scale or your 8th scale cars. Or, like I've seen with a lot of people with this truck, people have never been into this hobby, but... This is the first vehicle that has come out that you don't have all the maintenance of a two-stroke engine. You put batteries in, you turn it on, you go. So, that's what the 50-50 is. All you do, again, is 
hold down the on off button. I'll show you all three blinks and then I'll go to the second one and I'll show you the uh, fifth, uh, the uh, racing and then I'll show you the 50-50, uh, the training. Hold it down, it's gonna turn red, go off, blink once, twice. Then it's gonna go solid green. You see, I'm giving it full reverse. Nothing. I got throttle. I got brake. But the reason why you really don't see that much braking is the ESC senses how fast the, the rotor is turning and sends more voltage to the motor depending on how fast it's rotating. That's why I can do this. You can hear it if I push it. That little sound is about the same sound that it'll do when you turn your low, if you get it and you don't have your low voltage cut off, it's gonna make about that same sound. Now, I've showed you racing. That just gives you, like right now, I could technically go to 70-30 and it's going to just, I'll have non-stop have a 20% break until I get past that uh, 50%. So, shut it off. Turn it on, hold it down. It's going to turn red, then it's going to blink once, twice, three times. And now, not nearly the power that it, that it has in sport mode. In sport mode, that is what you're going to want for just all around having fun. So you'll have reverse, brake, and good throttle. But, seeing that I'm not racing mine, I like mine at 50-50, the throttle. I'm just going to go back to race. You just hold it down. As soon as it blinks once, you're set. That's it. So that's how you calibrate your ESC. Like usual, if you have any questions, hit me in the comments below. Uh, I'm on Facebook, same name as same name as my channel. Channel name. So got any questions? Want to chat? I don't care. Hit me up on Facebook, YouTube. I'm cool. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> but, that's your X-Max ESC calibration. Peace.